Okay guys, Egan here at MMA Bodyweight Workouts and we're gonna get a killer ab workout going on for you today. We're gonna work it. We're gonna try to keep our feet off the ground the whole time, six inches, and we're gonna go through this whole routine, okay? So get ready, let's get it, make it burn, and let's do it. Okay, here we go. So we're gonna start off with six inches just like this. Let me get my timer going, and let's go. So look, both feet stay off the ground and we're just gonna touch one toe. Try to keep this leg as straight as you can. Make sure you keep touching your toe, okay? Just keep going, just like that here. Okay. Notice how that other foot, I try to keep it from moving. I'm only moving one foot, but let's try to get two hands on your toes, just like that here. Okay, and then we're gonna go to the other leg. Okay, keep going. And if you gotta bend your legs and, and uh, your knees, go ahead and do it. If you can't touch your toes all right now, you can go ahead and touch wherever you touch, but always try for your goal is try to get all the way to your toe. The other leg stays off the ground, remember? And now full jackknives. So we're gonna go full extension and then all the way up. All the way, full extension, all the way up. And always make sure that you're doing the full range of motion. Okay, all the way up, all the way down. All the way up, all the way down. If your lower back starts getting tight, just put your hand, your feet on and just bridge it and then keep going. Okay, and then from here, six inches. We're gonna come up and then two punches. One, two, and then back down. Make sure you get good Extended punches, okay? Up and one, two. And up, one, two. Up, one, two. Each time you come up, you throw those two punches, okay? Okay? And then now from right here, same thing. You stay six inches here. We're gonna come up, we're gonna go elbow, opposite knee. Elbow, opposite knee. Elbow, opposite knee. And bring that knee up, make sure your body's twisting the whole way, right? Twist it. And start again. So that's one whole round right there. And come all the way up. And one. Actually, I screwed up. Okay. So after the last knee, and that's time, that's round one. I'm gonna go face down now for the next 20 seconds. We're just gonna heel clamber. Okay, let's loosen up that back. Keep your body moving. Okay, you can go fast heel climbers like this, or you can just pull it in tight. Pull it in tight. Pull it in tight. Your choice, but you should feel your abs. 20 seconds, and we start again. So up, up, up. Every once in a while, it's a little easier to bend your knee. So you can go ahead and do that but try to keep your leg as straight as possible. And always try to touch that toe, okay? And other leg, and let's go. Come on, here's a 20 second rounds. Really burn those abs. You might feel it in the hip flexor too. So if you feel it in this area too, that's typical for any time you're doing jackknife type movements. And here we go. And two punches at the top. Oh, if it's burning, like mine is, at least keep six inches, keep your feet off the ground, and go right back in. Almost there, two seconds. And now we're gonna go for elbows. Oh, those abs are burning. Six inches again, and opposite elbow, opposite knee. You guys got it, come on. Only got 10 more seconds. Hush. And time, let's go all the way over and heel climber it. And that's time. And that was your ab burner. We we're a little short of four minutes today. But that's your ab burner workout for today. And above, give me a thumbs up if you liked it, if you felt that burn. 
below. Let me know how much it burned. Leave me a comment. And we'll see you soon. Have a great day. Bye.